A motor neuron is what triggers muscle contraction. As a nerve impulse reaches its axon terminals, it stimulates the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine from its vesicles. Acetylcholine then diffuses across the synaptic cleft and attaches to acetylcholine receptors on the sarcolemma, which is this membrane that uh, surrounds the muscle cell. After acetylcholine attaches to its receptors on the sarcolemma, the muscle fibers become more positively charged. This generates an action potential that travels along the sarcolemma and dives deep into the muscle cell through these T tubules. As the action potential travels through the T tubules, calcium is released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Now we're zoomed deep into the cell, and we're looking at a single thin filament made of actin. That's colored yellow. Below it down here is a neighboring thick filament made of myosin. It's colored red. Keep in mind that a muscle cell or fiber is basically a bundle of thousands of these thick and thin filaments arranged side by side. The myosin in the thick filament grabs and pulls on the actin in the thin filaments, so the thin filaments slide inward causing the shortening or contraction of the muscle fibers. The next three slides goes through the steps of how this grabbing, sliding, and contracting actually works, close up at the filament level. Remember how the calcium was released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum in the last view? In this view, you can see how the calcium binds to troponin um, along these fibers, these aqua-colored fibers that are called tropomyosin. Tropomyosin is ordinarily covering these little brown spots that are called myosin binding sites. So when the calcium binds to the tropin, troponin, the tropomyosin untwists and exposes these myosin binding sites. And it's these binding sites where the myosin heads down here on the thick filament are about to grab the thin filament. So you'll see the calcium binds to the tropomyosin Tropomyosin untwists, and then I'll freeze it here in just a second. When it untwists like that, it exposes these myosin binding sites where that myosin is about to grab it in the next slide. The myosin heads along the thick filament are energized with ADP and a phosphate group. And so the myosin head will actually bend up and bind to the myosin binding site on the actin. And this forms what's called an actin-myosin crossbridge. After the crossbridge forms, the myosin head rotates towards the center of the sarcomere. And as it rotates, the myosin releases that ADP and phosphate. Uh, and this action slides the thin filament past the thick filament, creating what's called a power stroke. After the power stroke, the actin-myosin crossbridge remains intact until an ATP molecule binds to the myosin head. And after ATP attaches to the myosin, the myosin detaches from the actin. 